Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you today with a really quick unboxing. It's a lovely Chanel piece that I am very excited to have unexpectedly acquired and I'll get into that in the video. I'm also coming at you with that much makeup on. I just got back from the gym and getting my nails done and this just arrived and to be perfectly honest with you I am way too excited to open it up and see it so I didn't want to put any makeup on I just want to do this quick unboxing video share it with you guys and then honestly jump in the shower so if you're curious to see what's in this box just keep on watching. <laughs> All right, let's just get started straight away into this box. Start to unwrap it. Beautiful, beautiful ribbons and the camellia right there on the box. It says Chanel, obviously. It's the first time I'm seeing it, so I'm sharing this with you guys yet again. I can feel it. It's the beautiful black dust bag, velvet dust bag. Let's see what else is in here before I actually open it. Uh, oh, I think these are just the um, papers that were placed in there to, you know, keep everything organized and pretty and, you know, you know how they pack things when you first buy them and have little papers for slots and whatnot. So I think that's what it is. This is a copy of the receipt. The authenticity card. And what is this? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Might be just like, maybe like one of their little gift card or like a little card to write a note. Oh no. It's actually some information in a bunch of different languages. Oh, how to store it. I've never seen that before. Fancy. I'll read that later. Okay. This is such an impromptu and completely unplanned uh, video, so I'm excited. All right, so I showed you the beautiful velvet bag. And in here, I can feel it. It's upside down though, I think. Do, do, do. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. I, it's covered, so obviously you can't see, but this is the beautiful Chanel L zip wallet in black caviar with gold hardware and burgundy interior. Okay, hang on, gotta, gotta take a look at it. Oh my God. It, you know, it's not as big as I anticipated and that's a really good thing because before I purchased this, so let me backtrack. This was an unexpected purchase, like I said, because, you know, I've kind of been window shopping Chanel just in general and you know, it's inevitably you end up kind of finding things that you kind of like. And this was one of them. It always was something that I was drawn to. I saw it and I'm like, well, that looks nice. That might be something I'd want to add to my collection sometime in the future. The more I started looking into it and talking with uh, friends that I have that obviously love and appreciate the brand as well, I learned that this is actually a discontinued wallet. I don't know exactly when they discontinued it, but if I recall correctly, I've seen videos on YouTube from other people showing an unboxing of it, I believe as late as 2017. So it's relatively new since it's been discontinued. It hasn't been very long, but obviously with time, it's gonna get more difficult to find it in excellent or new condition. So I kind of started keeping my eyes peeled a little more, though I wasn't really actively seeking it out because I didn't really need it. I figured if and when it popped up, and it was in the condition I'd like, the color combination I'd like, a price I'd like, then I would grab it. Sure enough, I was perusing one of the many resale sites and pages that I'm on and this came up for sale, brand new, brand new. The woman purchased it back in 2015, never used it. She said that she bought it and has just always been in her, you know, little compact mini wallets and just never utilized this. And all her bags were small to the point that this didn't fit. So she bought it, never used it. It's the exact color combination that I would want it in. Like I said, black caviar, gold hardware there. And you can see, I'll open it up and show you, but you can see that the interior is burgundy and she's selling it for under retail. And in my opinion, considering it's Chanel, it's discontinued, it is a coveted item. A lot of people liked it, wanted it. And 
it was under retail, I think significantly under retail, all things considered. So, you know, I, I was, I had it in the back of my mind as something I'd like to acquire and add to my collection one day. Didn't think it would be this soon. When I saw it pop up, I grabbed it and here it is. So I'm really loving it. It's, um, wow. It, it's, yeah, it hasn't been used at all. My goodness. And you know, oh, you know, the thing I like about this is that it's a full size wallet, like a full, full size wallet. Um, whenever I'm looking at Chanel wallets that are full size, you will see, or at least I will see, not you, I saw that the number of credit card slots were very minimal. It was rare that I would really find one that had the 12 credit card slots that I personally am used to. So finding one that had as many credit card slots that I'd like, I feel like as of late was not terribly easy. And if I did find it, it was like one of those massive ones that, you know, was substantial enough that could hold a, a checkbook, pen, you know, it was too big. So this is a lovely size. It's honestly, like I said, I watched a lot of videos. I was expecting it to be a little bulkier and it's not. I actually love how small it is. I know it's all relative to me. This, you know, in managing my expectations, I guess, like I said, because I did think it was going to be larger. This is so lovely and petite and it looks like it will hold a lot. It does have 10 credit card slots, so it's too short of what I'm typically used to. But honestly, 10 is a really solid number. And you'll see now once I crack this open and show you what it looks like that there's plenty of space in here for two more credit cards. This has a lot of compartments. So I am going to zip it up right now and just show you the beautiful, beautiful front here. The back features a Mona Lisa pocket, which is similar to their classic flat bags. So I really like that little detail. When I was looking at their wallets, some would have this, some would not. And I knew that when I wanted to add a Chanel full-size wallet to my collection, I did want it to have that. So this was a huge bonus. So we've got that lovely Mona Lisa pocket. And you can see it's, um, I get, yeah, for a wallet, I guess it is wide, but it's not bad. It really is not that bad. Typically a wallet I'm used to is being this width, but I mean, this is no complaints here. So it's a snap button. Don't want this to fall out. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Hold on. Oh, it smells like new leather. Yes, you can laugh at me. That's fine. I'm going to enjoy that. You do that too, trust me. Do you smell money too? Because I smell money when it comes fresh out of the ATM and it's nice and crisp. Good. So here we go. We've got 10 credit card compartments, five here, five here. You've got the beautiful Chanel right down there in the bottom in gold to match the hardware of the wallet. You've got two compartments here behind each credit card slot compartment area so you've got the 10 slots then this is why I said if you needed more cards you have the space because you can put them here or here or here or here so you've got all that space in here and then you've got the large bill compartment back here and I saw yes in the videos that I've watched of this wallet online it's leather up here but then it's fabric down there which would bode well for inserting your bills it I would imagine if it was all leather, they would stick. So it is nice that it is a fabric over there. The serial number is in that compartment for the bills right there. And then from the pictures the seller sent me, ah, there it is. You can see where it's made. This one was made in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful. And, oh, let's show you here actually where the snap is. Hopefully it'll focus. If not, you're just gonna have to trust me that it says Chanel Paris right here on the snap. And then unzip here. Ooh, that is smooth. I, that was one thing I read, I didn't read. I don't know what is wrong with me. I saw in the videos with that was that this was a smooth zipper and sure enough it is. And so it opens up to feature an accordion compartment right there, two of them. I would imagine that I could use that for receipts when I'm shopping or running errands and I'm given a receipt, it would go in here. Obviously you would also use this as a coin compartment. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, now that I've kind of delved into the high luxury wallets, 
I find myself apprehensive to use coins because I don't want to stain the interior. Is that dumb? I mean, I know on the one hand you should just use the thing and enjoy it, but I'd hate for it to stain the inside and then I look in and see all this nasty coin residue grossness and then be bummed about that. So I don't know. We'll see if I will actually end up using it for coins or if I will reserve it just for receipts, maybe again, more cards. And honestly, I was actually questioning whether or not I would put my bills back here because it's quite a deep compartment. And I mean, I don't know how, you know, if I'm going to like kind of having to maybe possibly dig for it. Obviously, I don't know. I haven't haven't used it yet. I'll know in time. But also I was thinking that if I were in fact to use this zip compartment back here with the accordion that if and when I'm paying cash, it might be nice to have coins in one and uh, bills in the other so that I'm not opening here to grab the bills and then, you know, hang on, let me unzip block to get my coins. So I don't know yet exactly how I'm going to lay it out in this wallet. It has literally just arrived. I'm looking at it as I'm filming this to share with you all. So that remains to be seen. And oh, before I forget, when this came up for sale, I was, you know, like 90% ready to be like, okay, I'm going to buy it and decided to look at some more videos online and a common, I don't want to say flaw or issue, but something worth noting that did come up that I was worried might bother me was related to the credit cards. Now, as you can see here, you know, the, there are the five and five and they're all on this side. So when you pack it up with legit credit cards versus paper cards, what do you think is going to happen? It's probably going to get bigger and then kind of do something like that. Hopefully not exaggerated to that level, but a number of people that did a review on this wallet or just talked about it on YouTube did mention that that happened. Bearing that in mind, I did reach out to the person I purchased this from and told them that, that was a concern and asked them, hey, can you test pack it for me? And she was very kind enough to do so. And when she did, it did not look like that at all. It actually looked even. And I think because if you look at it, it's a little more narrow on this side. Um, or actually, no, I lied. It was a little more narrow on this side when I saw the pictures. You see that the leather kind of comes together a little bit more than on this side. I don't know, maybe it was just me wanting to see what I want to see so that I could buy it. But long story short, she test packed it for me with legit credit cards, not paper cards, and it sat straight. So I kind of felt a little bit better about proceeding with the purchase. I also reached out to a friend of mine that has this wallet and I asked her, hey, how bad is it? You know, I'm seeing this on YouTube. What are your thoughts? And she said that it basically didn't bother her given um, how much she wanted the wallet, how coveted it is, the fact that it's now discontinued, you can't get it. She was okay with it. So that's her, that's not me, obviously. So it remains to be seen whether or not I will be okay with it, but time will tell. And like I said, I did ask the seller, it didn't look that bad. Perhaps it might progress to that level. We'll see, but you know, it is what it is. I really liked the look of this wallet when I was coming across it online. And when it did finally come up for sale, like I said, at a price below retail, it retailed, by the way, for $1,050. And I found it, in my opinion, well below retail, brand spanking new, the exact color combination I wanted, full set, meaning it had the dust bag, as you saw, the box, the card, the receipt even, I couldn't pass it up. I you know, I sold a couple things to kind of justify and make it okay to add this to my collection and was able to offset this purchase. So I feel really good about having found it when I did in the condition that I did at the price point that I did. And now it's here and I'm really, really excited to move into it, which is exactly what I'm going to do after I shower, transition from my little mini wallet to this and give this a run for some time and see how I like it. And naturally, once I have enough time under my belt with this wallet, I will certainly do a follow-up video. I'll give you some more information. I'll take measurements and give you an idea of what it looks like packed and packed how I use it so that if you are considering it, you'd have an idea at that point. But 
at this point in time, if you were like me and were interested in this wallet and started to search on YouTube and couldn't find very many videos, and that was the other thing, the other reason why I wanted to film this, there are a few videos out there. There aren't a lot, so I kind of wanted to create another one to add to the mix in case you will be me in the future and start searching on YouTube thinking, hey, I think I might want to buy this wallet. First impressions, I would say get it. It's a full size wallet, but it's not really big. Not in my opinion. I don't think it's very large. So it holds more than enough cards, has a number of slots for any kind of extras that you carry that aren't cards, cash or coin. And I mean, it's just beautiful. I never thought I would actually like this kind of look. I've always been that zip around kind of gal for a wallet, but I don't know, something about this look is just very chic and classic and elegant. And it, you know, it has the, the opening, like a book look to it. But then on the flip side, you've got the zip compartment. And then, you know, it's the classic black caviar burgundy interior that beautiful Mona Lisa pocket that is similar to what you see on their classic flat bags. It just kind of, it just, I was lusting over it and, and now I got it. So I'm very excited. And, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to see how it pans out my relationship with this wallet. As you know, I did purchase a wallet right at the beginning of my start with this channel that did not work out, unfortunately from fashion file. And I will actually link those at the end of the video. If you're curious, and so I bought that, ended up returning it because there were some issues again. At the end of the video, you can link to those and watch those. So this officially for right now marks my very first full size wallet from Chanel. And I'm hoping it will be a home run for me. But like I said, time will tell and I will be back at that time to let you know whether this was a fantastic purchase on my part or one that I have learned wasn't so great for me. So stay tuned. That is it for this video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. And if you actually have this wallet, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you find out things that you liked or didn't like about this wallet as you used it? Let me know. Let's talk about it. I love talking about designers. I love talking about Chanel. And I love talking about something that I've recently purchased that I'm giddy and excited about. So hit me up in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.